Hi Aries, welcome back to Ladybug Testimonies. It's good to have you back, it's good to be back. I hope you guys have been taking this time to meditate, getting yourselves together here, clearing out your chakras. I've already pulled your spread, Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising to die down some time here. Because I know you have things to do and I have things to do. We're going to head straight into prayer. I'd like to take this time to thank the universe for the sun, the moon, the stars, for waking us up and putting us to sleep, for giving us another chance. I'd like to ask the universe for protection, for light, for understanding and clarity and balance. In Jesus' name, love and light. Amen. Alrighty, Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I did pull your spread out of the psychic tarot. From the for the heart here, getting you some advice out of the wow offering oracle. I will be clarifying with the black and white Binko de Nero. Look at the bottom of the deck, it's happiness and family. Um, out of the psychic tear for the heart here, the bottom of the deck was the ace of swords. This is clarity of belief here truth communication i am going to pull you some uno cards for your numerology okay the overall energy around you aries sun moon horizon was embrace this is endings and new beginnings here you could be ending things with family you could be changing your your outlook on life how you're approaching situations here as well you could be changing your connections with people as well how your position is in life but things are most definitely ending for you here you could be coming from the heart some of you are reconnecting and getting back in into nature here as well Disconnecting from the world and getting back to your roots here. Okay, Aries, Sun, Moon, Horizon. But you're most definitely working on yourself. Clearing out your chakras, which is beautiful. There's a lot of healing here. A lot of connecting and disconnecting. Okay. You are protected. You could be working with people as well. The number three could be really... The number three could be surrounding you. A lot of people could be surrounding you. You could be working with a lot of people. Let me say that. You are reaching out. That's why I say you are connecting because you are reaching out. You could be reaching out to disconnect as well, Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Take it for what it is. This is the overall energy around you. You could be also trying to fix situations as well. Yeah. Take a leap of faith. You could be disconnecting from people, not really caring what anybody has to say, not letting anybody stop you, hold you back here. What did we get? Yeah. You could be letting go of a relationship as well, Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Could be letting go of friends, connections, an Aquarius as well, Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising here. What's the mental conflict it's balancing things out. The mental conflict could also be with the Sagittarius, but it's most definitely changing what you've created here and bringing in some balance here. You could be trying to balance out partnerships, the people you're working with here, how you're expressing yourself as well. But the mental conflict is how do you make peace with things? How do you fix this relationship? How do you um, create this change? How do you even come together and reconnect here? How do you speak from your heart? How do you end things to start something new here? Either with the a Sagittarius or a Scorpio here. Things could be ending with the Scorpio and you're just trying to make things right here. You could be trying to change things for the better here. What's on the heart space is detach. You could be letting go. Of a relationship also could be letting go of this communication most definitely letting go of a relationship there's a relationship change here or you could be trusting your intuition and knowing which partnerships you want to hold on to and which ones you want to release here someone could also be passing but there's most definitely Aries someone arising a change within a relationship here law and order and this is on your heart space you feel like a relationship is changing you feel like someone is passing you feel like the troubles are over here you feel like starting this new chapter and going after this new opportunity here letting something go so you can step into something more beautiful so you can start building or you can finish building 
okay? Because you feel like there's an opportunity here. Either with the Libra or a um, Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Or this partnership will bring in more finances here. And especially, you feel like if you trust your intuition, you'll know where to go here. Or your GPS. Okay, Aries. But something does have to end so you can start something new here. What you need to be aware of, Aries, be aware of this control. Be aware of your ego. Be aware of your status. Be aware of what you are trying to create as well. Be aware of what you're looking into. Be aware of how you feel. Okay? Oh, that's two cards. Be aware of what you want to invest in, okay? Be aware of speaking up about how you feel here. Be aware of these friends. Be aware of detaching from a Leo or an Aquarius here, a Scorpio or a Virgo as well. Be aware of what you're building, what you're putting your finances towards, okay? Be aware of speaking on what you want to create. Be aware of speaking on what is going to bring in these finances. And be aware of your intuition. Okay? Go within. Trust your third eye here on what is manifesting. And some of you need to be aware of what you're manifesting. Period. With these people. Okay? Be aware of... A friendship could be turned into a relationship, okay? Someone could be opening up and finally expressing themselves about a relationship, about how they feel, what they want to invest in. Um, Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising, I am doing something different. And the most likely outcome, I am bringing in what you need to cut out as well, okay? Just to give a little bit more help here. Be aware that... Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising, be aware somebody is very emotional about a relationship here. There is some disappointment about a disconnection here, but it opens up to a whole new beginning. Different friends, different connections. Okay. Most likely outcome for you, Aries, Sun, here is giving and receiving. This is the Six of Pentacles energy as well. This is Capricorn energy, things changing, going back to the past and rewriting, okay? Giving back so you can receive, doing what's right here to become that leader here and stepping into your light here. Most definitely healing all your chakras, speaking your truth, telling how you feel here, okay? What do you love? Mm. Also your solar plex for chakra, what do you wanna create here? Oh my, this got me crying. Well, some of you could have something in your eyes, okay? You need to open up your eyes. I saw that in the beware as well. You need to open up your eyes and be aware of what you want to create here, what you want to give back to the situation as well. How do you heal the situation? How do you fix the situation for sure? What you need to cut out, because there needs to be, you need to go back and look at the things that you have, um signed here look at the contracts look at where you're going here look at go back to see how you've healed before okay go back and look at the chapters that you did close go back so you can see who you can in these chapters with as well what you need to cut out you need to cut out this pettiness stop fighting with yourself here and tell the truth win or lose you win some and you lose some but a change is coming trust your intuition on it on which way to go on what to say and how to fix the situation on what to how to communicate one thing i always do every sun when arising every sun before i speak i pray so i can know what to say so i can know how to express mm -hmm. myself mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can know what to say here. So you can know what to say to the past so you can know how to move forward as well, either with the Scorpio or from a Scorpio here, okay? But communication needs to be fixed, okay? There needs to be some truth for sure, for sure. Let's get you some advice. 
Aries sun. Stop blocking out people who want to come and apologize, Aries sun here. And if it's time for you to go back and apologize, then go and, go and say your apologies here. Go and fix that. You don't have to say because this is in and out energy, okay? Cut out this in and out energy as well and speak your truth. What do you want? What do you want to say? Where do you want to go? The spiritual vice is solitude. Once you embrace the inner divine and your own sacred solitude, the right people arrive at the right time exactly on schedule without forcing or chasing. Okay? Airy sun, work on your, your base chakra with this fear. Work on speaking your truth. Work on your third eye, your intuition, your mental conflict here as well. And work on how you feel. How do you feel? Because everything will come in on, in on divine timing. Okay? Nothing happens by mistake. Everything is on divine timing. We're going to get you some numerology, okay? Solitude is good because you get that time to make up your own mind, Aries Sun. You get that time to know where you want to go and what you do want to say. Universe Spirit, guys, that's the numerology for Aries Sun. But you most definitely need to trust your intuition so you can know where to go, so you can know what to say, so you can know how to be a leader. You could be dealing with a an Aquarius, a Capricorn, and this is like communication is involved, um, action is involved, finances is involved, new chapters, change, protection, using your third eye here for sure. The numerology for you is, I told you, three is very important here. You are protected, okay? You could also be in love with three different people or three different people could be in love with you, Aries Sun here. You need to make a decision on where you want to go and what you want to say. So everything can be cleared out and divine can bring in what you need. Aries Sun, if you would like to stay at the end of the video, I am reading out of the Psychic Tarot for the Heart, giving a little bit more advice here. And if not, I wish you love and light. Stay connected, continue to pray, work with these people, work on how you feel as well so you can express yourself in the right way and have a beautiful day or night. If you would like a little bit more insight, Aries Sun, the description box will help you with everything that you need, okay? To the loo. Aries moon, the most likely outcome for you here is flow. There's a new cycle coming in, okay? There's a relationship change. Your luck could be changing as well, okay? There could be a relationship change either with the Pisces here or just how you feel about the relationship. Okay, because there's some depression here. So you could be healing from this depression and opening up to this brand new cycle. Okay, you could be letting the opportunity go so you can go towards which, what makes you happy. All right, because you're ready to leave out of this, this depression here or you're ready to leave this Pisces here. You could be going into this disappearing act. Okay. Because you're ready for this change. You're, you're ready to feel different. What you need to cut out, cut out this manipulation. Cut out what you was trying to manifest, okay? Cut out this black magic or these spells here. Cut out what you was trying to create, okay? If God took it away from you, it probably wasn't for you, okay, Aries Moon? You can't force people to want to build with you, okay? You can't force people to create with you as well. You need to have faith that divine is going to come in and change everything for you. Aries moon, you could be dealing with a relationship. You could also be dealing with um, a Pisces or a Gemini or even a Sagittarius. Okay, all right, let's get you some advice. 
Most definitely trust your intuition, though, towards this change and what you want to build. You could be dealing with a lot of people. There are a lot of people here. Okay? You could be either working with a lot of people or manifesting with a lot of people. That's kind of the same thing. But there's a lot of emotions here and wanting to take action as well. Contentment. You can learn to rest in what you already have and already are. Suddenly you remember, I'm right here resting in God. Be content with what you have, okay? If you're complaining, it's time to come out of that complaining. It's time to protect yourself and protect your thoughts. Protect what you truly want here as well. And have the confidence that everything will flow and things will come in the way that they need to. And you'll be able to pick up the pieces and start over, okay? But you most definitely need to come out the dark about how you feel and manifest what you truly want. And be okay with what you have. And if you don't feel complete, then go back and look at all the things that you have. I don't necessarily say count your blessings, but you can recognize them or your gifts, rather. Universe Spirit, guys, what is the numerology for Aries? Moon. Universe Spirit, guys, guardians, angels, what is the numerology for Aries Moon? Things seem really subtle with you guys, really subtle. It's like whatever comes in, comes in. Whatever you need to cut off, you'll cut off. You just need the time to do it here to make the decision on what to create. That's what I feel here. Time is on my side. Yes, it is. Time is on my side. Manifesting. Some of you are scared of manifesting, but you need to come out of this fear, okay? If you want more, like I said, if you don't feel complete, go back and pray. Go back and look at look around you and see the things that you do need, the things that you do feel like you're missing, the things that you do want to create, okay? Go back to source here and start planning. Start healing yourself. Come out of this fear here so you can manifest, okay, so you can have this new start. There is a need to protect yourself and protect your thoughts and to trust your intuition so that this manifest manifestation can come into fruition, okay? Don't be scared to manifest. Don't be scared to ask for help. Don't be scared to trust your intuition. Don't be scared to trust in yourself and in the divine, okay? Take 15 minutes out to get yourself together. Okay, Aries Moon. Aries Moon, if you would like to stay towards the end of the reading, I am getting some extra advice out of the Psychic Tarot for the heart. If not, I wish you love and light and to have a beautiful day or night. Okay, um, if you would like to support, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more insight as well. Salute, Aries Moon. All righty, Aries rising, the most likely outcome for you is move. You could be trying to get in control and manifest this new start here. Most definitely get in control of your life, get in control of how you feel, becoming protected, telling how you feel, telling what you want to create here, and moving into a new love situation, but most definitely expressing yourself. Some of you want to get pregnant, Aries rising, or you want to get married. You're ready to tie the knot. You're ready to be in love. You're ready for this relationship. You're ready for this role, either to be a wife or to be a husband or grandma. But you're very open and very in control here of your fears, of, of moving forward. Okay, like this is beautiful, though. Aries rising, 
You could be dealing with a Cancer, a Sagittarius, or a Capricorn, but you're most definitely getting in control of your addictions, getting in control, like you're taking control of this fear, okay? You're not letting anything hold you back. What you need to cut out is creating, okay? Cut out being scared to create. Cut out this desire here as well. Get rid of this fear so you can go towards what you want, so you can have this new beginning here. Yeah, so you can go towards what you want. You can go towards what makes you happy. Some of you need to um, cut out this cheating, though, and create your own, okay? Take your own path. But there most definitely has to be, something has to end so you can take control of your life, okay? Something possibly, you could be dealing with the cancer for sure. Or Sagittarius, but it's most definitely going after what you love. But stepping out of this fear here and making a decision as well. On what you love, what you care about, what you want to create, where your desires are. But there's a change in mind, a change in direction, a second chance. Universe, dear guys, we'll see advice for Aries rising. Universe, dear guys, we'll see advice for Aries rising. Universe, dear guys, we'll see advice for Aries rising. Direction. Some of you are traveling and driving. Lord, please show me the right action right now. Please bring a sign and a miracle that gives clear direction. May I hear the promotings of my own body. And if for some reason I am about to head the wrong way, please stop me. You're getting control of this fear here for sure. Mm -hmm. Taking control of your, your life, taking control of where you want to go, figuring out where you want to go, using your GPS as well, and having compassion as well on what you want to create. What do you need to end so you can start something new here? So you can have this transformation, so you can have this change, so you can take control of your life, so you can know where you're going, so you do know where you want to go and who you care about. There's fear here, but there's not a lot of fear, okay? And if you are scared, I say go into prayer and keep positive thoughts here. Because there is a spiritual journey here. And if you feel like you're going in the wrong way, if fear creeps back up, then pray about it. Go back to the vine. And I'm always, always here, baby. Yep. Always here to help you get out that fear so you can trust your intuition and you can know where to go. You can know what chapters to close out. Spirit. Universe, guardians, angels. What's the numerology for Aries rising? Universe, spirit, guardians, angels. What's the numerology? Yes. Starting something new here, going after what you love here, ending relationships so you can step into something new here. OK, stepping into what makes you happy and speaking up about it as well, speaking up about what you want to manifest, speaking up about the changes you want to create here for sure. OK, working on that heart chakra as well, expressing yourself, express yourself. What do you love? Where do you want to go? What's the direction you want to take? OK, because there's travel here. Aries rising. Where do you want to go? Don't get lost in the sauce. Okay, speak your truth. And there's a lot of people here, Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. A lot of people. Kind of too many people. Okay? You need to find balance. 
and make a decision, okay? You may find that matters of the heart require extra effort at this time. More and more demands may be placed upon you, requiring you to juggle your attention. Family gatherings, school commitments, requests for assistance, and other obligations may arise within a short period of time. Just breathe and remember to be flexible. Adapt your approach to each situation at hand. Know that you have the ability to keep everything and everyone in balance. You may also be called upon to play the role of a mediator. This is a time for compassion and understanding, and you are up to the task. Work with people individually, giving each position equal consideration. Help all involved to understand another viewpoint and find middle ground. Finally, in order to maintain balance, you yourself must be in balance. So it is vital that you take time for yourself. Okay, you could be dealing with a relationship, a Libra, partnerships, commitments, law and karma. But it's time for you to get yourself together so you can make the right decisions. Okay, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more insight. Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising, I am always here to help. Bookings are still open. I am still available. I would love to help. If not, I still wish you love and light. Have a beautiful day or night, Aries.